challenging the governor was teacher Marie Corfield. She joins me now. Marie, take us back to that moment. Not everybody steps up to the governor. Well, what motivated you? Um, I was angry. I was angry because um, the rhetoric that he was, um, you know, that he was spreading at that point just simply wasn't true, and, and it still isn't true. We have uh, one of the best public education systems in the country, and um, the, the cuts that were being made to education were, were devastating our, our profession, our schools, our students, and um, you know, the way he was describing educators as if we were, you know, bullies walking around with baseball bats waiting to attack somebody, and it's, it's just not true. Um, would you say a lot has changed since then in terms of, like, for funding? The governor says, oh, he's increased state aid to schools for the second year in a row by $199 million. Well, he's increased state aid by that much, but he also cut over a billion dollars in 2010. So when he says he's increased aid, it still hadn't, hasn't gotten us back to the, um, the levels that we were at before those cuts. So schools are still hurting. Now, you are running for assembly. Did you have any political aspirations when you confronted the governor back in 2010? Did no. you think it would come? Yeah. No, not at all. Um, I just figured I'd go back to my regular everyday life, and, and I did for the most part for several months. And um, then the national media came calling, the New York Times, the Ed Schultz Show, Politics Nation, um, the various news outlets, and um, the Democratic Party from Hunterdon County asked me to run. It took a long time to think about it, and, um, and I finally said yes. Do you think you touched a nerve with some people who had some concerns about the governor and his educational uh, I think that I, I think my race back in 2011 and again in the primary, um, the, the issues that I talk about have resonated with a lot of people in the 16th district because they are the issues that we are all struggling with. You know, jobs in the economy, education, taxes, um, the majority of us are, are struggling with all those things and the, they're things that I talk about. So You support uh, the teacher tenure rules. Any concerns about teacher evaluations? I know they won't be totally based on test scores. Um, the um, the teacher evaluations are still a work in process. We're still waiting to see how much uh, a teacher's um, review is going to be based on test scores. You know, teachers are very concerned about that because, um, you know, to, to base like half or more of their uh, performance on a test that's given once, once a year that every child has to take regardless of their abilities or disabilities is not really um, the best way to evaluate a year's worth of, um, of a teacher's job. So um, you're running for assembly. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were elected, what will be your platform and how do you think you differ from your opponent? Well. Obviously, as I said before, the three main things, jobs in the economy, education, and taxes. Um, all three of those things, um, my, my opponent has um, track records of voting against. She's, voting, she's voted against um, funding for, you know, for, for, for education, for women's health issues, for um, property tax relief, for... Um, um, all the other, all the other issues that affect the middle class. Um, you know, she's she has a track record of voting against. And um, what are you doing to get out the vote? Um, knocking on a lot of doors, making a lot of phone calls, uh, going to a lot of uh, meet and greets, events, just talking to people whenever and wherever I can. Okay. We thank you so much for coming to speak with us. Thank you, Marie. Thank you.